What's happening guys, how are we doing? We are back in Tunbridge Wells today, so we're back at Halo Gym. This was where I trained pre-Christmas uh, when I met the boss, Callum, and we trained pool together. Today, we've got a, another pool session. This session is gonna have some slightly new exercises in. I'm gonna play around with some of the new machines in the gym that I haven't had a chance to use at other gyms. So I'll take you through the whole session and uh, I'll see you. Fast go. Get into it, get into it, get into it. How do you get it? Three, two, one, go. Drive chest, drive chest. Bit more, bit more So we're going to start with single arm uh, Nautilus pull down. And as I said, there will be a few other machines that I play around with today that I haven't used before. See what the contractions are like. So there's not really much of a set routine. I'll still follow similar principles. We'll have some single arm work in there 100% for the lats. Um, this is more of a lat bias day than anything else, but we will include some rear delts uh, and potentially some traps at the end as well, a bit of biceps. Lovely machine that. Lovely machine that. Feels nice at the bottom. Cheers for that. Hey, Fish, uh, chest supported single arm. This is a Cybex, Cybex Eagle Row. I have not used one of these before. So I'm just testing out where to sit, where to row the handle to. Making sure if you ever want to target the lat on a row, this row's starting a little bit higher and then coming down low. I want to ensure that you're not retracting your shoulder blades too much. That's more if you want to target on mid-back, mid-traps, rhomboids, etc. So with a lat, you're just aiming to bring the elbow in line with the torso there. Chest, I would say, neutral or slightly popped up. Good one second contraction. I'm actually leaning a little bit this side as well. Some people like to leave a little bit of a bend in the elbow, some people fully straighten. Whatever you fancy with that, more so personal preference in my opinion. So we'll do a little, another warm up on here and then uh, we'll do a top set. But with the chest supported, it's lovely because you can really isolate, isolate that one lat. Like I've spoken about it before, single arm lat work has blown my lats up. I never really had lats. I always used to do weighted pull-ups, which are great. They're a great bread and butter exercise to just get overall size, but you're not really targeting one muscle more than the other. You're on these machines here that are single arm, the one I just used, the Nautilus pull down, and then this uh, Eagle row here, the contraction is so intense because you're only thinking about one muscle working. So definitely should be incorporating some single arm lat training in your back work. You know, some of you might run a lat day and then a thickness day, that's absolutely fine. <clears throat> but just ensure that you are using single arm rows, pull downs. They still do double arm stuff as well, but alongside this, this is, uh, this is the focus for this set of uh, this last phase of off season.
going to set up the T-bar so that it's more of an upper back bias because we've touched on the lats relatively hard in the first two exercises. Uh, this grip that I've got that I just warmed up with is a bit too narrow so I want to hit a little bit more rear delt, mid trap, upper trap so I'm going to move the handles out and I'm going to ensure that my chest is quite low down on the pad. Obviously if my chest was here I'm rowing to mid back if my chest is lower down i'm rowing to the upper back with the elbows flared so you'll see in a minute exercise feels heavy don't really do t-bar third but three and a half plates 10 or 11 whatever that was Not too bad right I'm gonna move on to an exercise I haven't shown you before it's going to be a cuffed rear delt fly a lying cuffed rear delt fly just gonna do a nice little warm-up 15, 20 reps. First time doing these, the contractions and the doms the day after were absolutely insane. Much better contraction than some of the rear delt machines I've used. Yep. and exit elegantly at 106 kilos. So the reason I started doing <coughs> the cuff rear delt, obviously you've seen in all my other videos, the line and seated crucifix raises have been, in, have been a staple for like the past 10 months of my training, ever since I've been coaching with Cal and my medial head of the delt has come up massively, uh, especially even doing cuffed um, clavicular bias flies. My upper pecs have come up a lot. And I feel like my rear delts are a little bit lagging. Um, and when I do rear delt machines, I just can't connect my rear delts. My traps take over, my mid back takes over. So with those, I'm getting a very good contraction, just like I do when I'm doing the crucifix on side raises. That's purely in the rear delt there, you can even see the pump on that is much better than any machine I've used. So maybe incorporate those into your pull day routine. Just uh, finishing the rear delts there with that machine. I haven't used that before. It's a little bit different to the other rear delt ones I've used where you've got the handles in front. This one's obviously handleless. Got the pads on your elbows. Trying to sit a little bit lower down, again, to target very high up. And obviously they're cooked from the cuff as well. So I'm just doing continuous reps, 20, 25 reps. Get as much blood in there as possible. And then uh, we'll move on to some biceps after that. for biceps. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is good. So here, just been introduced to the air, an air pressure. Is it air pressured? Air pressured resistance. So the little buttons on the side decrease the resistance and increase on the right. 
So there, I just did a little drop set, go to failure with a certain resistance, quickly tap the buttons to drop the load, straight back in. Haven't got to strip the plates off or anything. Uh, felt quite nice as well. They've got some different bits of kit, apparently some leg stuff as well. We'll have to use that when I do legs at Halo. I haven't actually done legs here, because I did deadlifts with Cal, but I haven't done a leg session, so maybe we'll have to have a legs at Halo very soon. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Triple drop set, this one. Oh, fuck that. What's up, you guys? Have you enjoyed that pool session? Feeling pumped, feeling good. Been on cycle about three weeks now, so things are starting to... to take effect and we're getting in a really good flow. Eight weeks left of off season, 22 week prep on the way. Thank you Halo for having me down here today and I will be back soon. Because like I said, we're gonna have to get a leg session in. A couple of the fellas down here I've seen today have been very nice to me. So thanks for having me. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you like the video, comment what you wanna see in future videos, subscribe. I'm out.